Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you very quickly how to make a ribbon. We start by deleting the cube, pressing X and delete, press 7 to go to that screen, and we're going to add a mesh plane. Go to edit mode by using top or switch here over to edit, and we're going to delete everything, so every vertex. So we got nothing, but we are still in the object plane. Good. We're going to add a few points. First of all, we're going to select the vertices and we're going to press uh, left mouse click while we're uh, holding down the control bar. And we're going to add a point. So before we add extra points, this cross, I don't want it. Otherwise, we cannot add uh, points very closely to another. So we're going to click over here and switch off the cross. Now we're holding down the control button each time we're pressing the left mouse key and we're adding points. So we're holding down the control button, left clicking, left clicking. Now we're going to make some waves like that. So we start by high waves and lots of points and we're going to go down a little bit like that and enlarge the waves a little bit. So you can make as much difference as you want. I'm doing it very fast now. Now we're going to add a few extras. So, for instance, you've seen that this point is not looking okay. So you lay on the cross, right click on that one, and you say, okay, we want that position more to the right, this more to the left, this a little bit more over there and these points here are not good positioned also I want them a little bit more to the and that and that and that I want it a little bit more to there this one a little more lower and these two are not good positioned so when everything is done and you select it to every point you wanted to adjust no problem you go back to the last point you lay off the cross you hold down the control button and you add a few extra points so it's very simple. If it is not looking like it sh you think it should look, you can add or insert or change everything you want. Like this. You can go around. It's, it's not important. It's just I'm showing you how to do it. So when this is done, you press A to deselect and A to select everything. Now we're going to extrude in Z direction. So we press E, Z. And do not exaggerate because the thickness of your uh, ribbon is not that thick. So we do it like that. And now we're going to add a few modifiers. First of all, we're going to add solidify. This, this is going to give us a certain thickness. Let's say, for instance, 0 0.1. You can switch from inside to outside. I'm going to roll like it like it is and I'm going to add another modifier a subdivision surface which going to smoothen everything and we're going to say okay I want three of that now if we look to the start points then we see it is a little bended if you want that straight I'm going to add one straight and the other one I'm going to leave but just to show you how to do control R in the region in the region here and it will add a purple line over there left mouse click and you can drag the line to the end so you get a, a very nice clean sh edge i'm going to leave that one to what it is but i want to have my ribbon in three colors so right, two colors three lines so we're going to add Control r until we see something like this we're going to roll in the middle mouse until we have two of them we left mouse click yeah, and now we're going to say SZ because I want them opening like that. So we're going to in the middle, you can see it better. Opening like that. See if it is not good enough and it's too far from the outside, go back. SZ again. And you can say, I want to look my ribbon like that. Now, if you want the outside of your ribbon to be more straight, just add another control R over there and bring it completely to the outside like this. Same on, on the other side, uh, control R over here, bring it all to the outside like that. Good. So 
uh, when this is done we're going to add now we're going to uh, object mode and we're going to add a plane mesh plane and we're going to stretch it by pressing the S button and we're going to enlarge it like that I'm going to reposition it because it is ah, before we can do that we can uh, we have switched off and we're going to switch it back on like that okay and we're going oh, oops my camera is on the other side so I'm going to do it like that just above or looking like this more just above yeah going to give it a color it's not important which one you choose I'm choosing that one okay and we're going to position the light somewhere over here and we're going to copy that one to con shift D to the opposite side where we're going to add another color a lamp now we're going to position the camera so in the camera pressing zero on the keyboard and we're pressing N uh, where we can say lock camera view and we, we can now scroll with the mouse until we see the ribbon like we want I want it to look something like this. Well, this is good. Switch off that. Beware that the cursor is in the screen, center of the screen. Press zero again, and we're correctly positioned. Okay. Now we're going to give the ribbon a color. So that's selecting the ribbon. We're going to say to edit mode. Okay. And we're going to give the color to the ribbon pay attention that the color that you want on the outside is the color that we're going to use mainly otherwise if you don't do that I'm going to show you say new and we're going to assign and I say red for instance choosing red because I want my basic color to be red good like this now we're going to assign because it is in the part second color and I'm going to say blue okay we're going to choose blue and we made a color like that blue okay and uh, now we're going to select which one should be blue and say for instance that we're going to say this one should be blue this we selected that uh, face we go hold down the alt button and selected that edge right click on it we hold down the alt button and hold down the shift button now and right click on that edge and we have selected both of them now if i want the these to be blue we're going to press assign and now you're going to see that these are still red we cannot do anything about it so if the outside is to be going to be blue then we're going to change the standard color to blue like this we're going to give it a blue color like that and we're going to switch this one to be red double click on it sorry red and we're going to give it red and now we're going to say that the outside is blue a sign we're going to select that one hold down the alt button and select that edge by right clicking on it and now we're going to say red is the sign and now it is blue on the outside just red on the inside and that's the way we like it now if everything is done like this we can render pay attention that the output file is in the correct directory and you've chosen over here the file format that you want and mine is going to be jpeg and we're going to render it and it should look like this now we're going to change a few things first of all we're going to object mode where we're going to say smoothness and uh, we're going to say okay we don't want any shadows so first of all do not shadow that and the shadow of that we don't want also and now we're going to render <coughs> sorry and this is my ribbon so if uh, you see you like it, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. Have a nice Christmas also.